as a business, you're probably collecting customer feedback. This is because collecting and implementing user feedback is one of the best ways to improve your process or product. But as many of you have probably discovered, as the amount of data grows, manually reviewing open-ended feedback can be resource intensive. How do you turn a growing repository of feedback data into insights? Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. In this session, we're looking at how to analyze the sentiment of freeform feedback at scale. So stick around. Back to that ever-growing set of feedback data, besides bringing on more humans to read and classify the feedback, are there any other options? Enter machine learning. Machine learning technology is what powers products like Google Photos, Google Translate, and Gmail Smart Reply. Without needing a data science degree, you can use machine learning in your own applications through pre-trained machine learning models. These models will help you interpret feedback in a scalable and consistent way. And you can take advantage of this technology directly from Google Sheets, which is often where your feedback data lives in the first place. So what can a Sheets-based, ML-powered solution do? The app looks like this. Within Google Sheets, there's an extra menu where with a click of the button, freeform feedback will be analyzed and translated into a list of what people are talking about, let's call them entities, and a score that indicates whether the entities are mentioned in a positive or negative way. The quantitative results are then aggregated into a pivot table and a chart, so you can spot trends and gain insights. What's the key to making this possible? That is Cloud Natural Language. Cloud Natural Language is a collection of machine learning models trained to understand text, and it's a service of the Google Cloud Platform. One feature available in this service combines both entity analysis and sentiment analysis, and attempts to determine the sentiment expressed about entities within a block of text. For example, take this review of a vacation rental property. Cloud Natural Language will analyze the text and identify a list of entities. Then it will assign each entity with a sentiment score. These sentiment scores range from a clearly negative, negative one, to a clearly positive, positive one. Imagine you perform this analysis across hundreds of reviews. By aggregating and analyzing those results, you'll start to see at a high level what people are talking about the most along with their sentiment. In order to access Cloud Natural Language from your Google Sheet, you'll use App Script, specifically the URL fetch service in App Script, which allows the script to communicate with external services on the internet. Cloud Natural Language documentation outlines the structure it expects in the request body sent by URL fetch. This includes the type of document, the language, and the feedback text itself. Each time a piece of feedback is sent to Cloud Natural Language for analysis, the results are pasted directly into a new tab of the Google Sheet using range.set values. Take note of this pro tip, which I learned from my colleague Eric Kalita. When adding multiple rows of data to a spreadsheet with App Script, it is much faster to collect them into an array and then add the rows to your sheet all at once using range.set values. An often seen alternative is using sheet.append row. While this method provides simplicity, it will only process one row at a time. It just cannot compare on speed for this solution. Time to set up your own feedback sentiment analysis app and see it in action. All the details, including a template Google Sheet, are available in the G Suite Solutions Gallery linked below. The full source code is also available in the gallery if you're interested in diving into some of those methods we talked about. Thank you for joining this episode of Sheets to Apps. If you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe to the channel.